If you want to do a durability test on your heat transfers to make sure they're going to wash, they're going to stretch, or they're um, going to you know, go through a pick test, uh, let's talk about the guidelines for how to go about doing that. The best case scenario, you want to press your transfers on the garment you're going to be uh, delivering to your customer. Um, and before you go through a pick test or uh, a stress test or a wash test, um, what you want to do is give it 24 hours uh, before you go through any of that uh, stress on, on the garment, on the imprint. Um, you want to let the, uh, the ink and the adhesive set up uh, for 24 hours before you go through that to make sure you're putting in a, one, a real world scenario. That's what it's going to be like when you press and then deliver the product to your customer. Um, and again, you wanna let that adhesive uh, run its course, cool back down and set up and give it 24 hours and then put it through the laundry. Then you can go and pick at the edges. Then you can stretch it and see if it rebounds, uh, if it's a performance or a water-based transfer. Um, you, you can go through those tests, but make sure you give yourself 24 hours before you do it. While the plastisol is still warm off the press um, and you pick it up and stretch it, it's gonna have way more flex than after it cools back down. So we recommend just allowing it to cool down, let it go 24 hours before you do any of those tests because uh, that's a real world scenario what it's going to be like uh, for your durability and it's the best case scenario when you're trying to test your product out.